Hello and welcome to another Warframe video. In this one, we're going to take a look at Revenant Prime. So let's get started. Close your eyes. So let's see how Revenant's abilities work. For his passive, on shield depletion, it will release a knockdown shockwave in a 7.5 meter radius. In my opinion, using Rolling Guard is still much more better than depending on this ability because you can get serious immunity and you can recast your Mesma skin in that time. So what an enthrall will do is it will turn your enemies into your thralls. These thralls will damage the other enemies and turn them into thralls as well. So you don't have to do a lot of casting in terms of that. When they die, they'll leave behind a damaging pillar to do some damage over the remaining duration of enthrall. It's a really good crowd control ability on Revenant. I would recommend not subsuming out this ability at all. What it will do is give you all status immunities for the charges that you have. It is dependent on the strength you have. That's why I recommend using high strength revenant, especially if you're building for steel part. That is my personal opinion because it really helps a lot. Also, what Mesma skin will do is if any enemy attacks you, it'll also stun them, which you can use it to your advantage by enthralling them because it will cost you no energy at all. So that is really good in my opinion. The only thing with Mesma skin is that you'll still be able to take toxin damage regardless if you don't get procs. So that is the only downside to it. With Reef, you'll be able to dash into enemies with a cloud wall that'll deplete their shields, deplete their health. It is especially enhanced for thralls. You'll be able to easily one-shot them. It also works on acolytes. That's why it is really fun to just enthrall the acolyte and just reeve into them. You'll be able to easily kill them without any issues at all. So for his fourth, what I've done is subsume Roar on him from Rhino. What I feel like his original fort Dance Macabre, in my opinion, is not that great, especially if you're doing endurance runs. That's the reason I have subsumed Roar on it. The other options that you can have have on this one is Warcry from Valkyr, especially if you combine it with Eternal War and you're using it for melee. It's a really good subsume. You can also use Nourish from Grendel for viral damage. You can also use Energized Munitions if you have a weapon that needs a lot of reload, doesn't have a lot of magazine. Breed Surge is also a really good option, especially for headshots. Black and Hunt from Voluna, so you can get health ops on melee kills and energy ops on headshot kills. That's also a really good option. Shuriken from Ash is also a really good option for armor stripping. Terrify from Necro also a good option for armor stripping. Both of them work on Acolytes and Demolith as well. And I will also suggest using Zata's Whisper from Zaku. It is also a good one that you might want to use. So yeah, those are the suggestions I would give out for his fourth subsume options. But in this run, I have used Roar myself. So take a look at the build enemy radar in the auto slot because I personally like to use this one because in case that my Kiri dies, I still have enemies on my radar. That's the reason I use it. Preparation is again a personal preference. So in case if I die, I will have my maximum energy when I get up. I will reach to have a little bit of range. This is the negate since we're using narrow-minded as well. Transient fortitude and blind reach for strength. Prime continuity for duration. Prime flow for maximum energy. Rolling guard for status immunity on the roll. Quick thinking is another option that you can use because since the toxin damage bypasses Mesma skin anyway, this is another good option that you can use. But I like to use rolling guard just in case my Mesma skin is completely down and I forget to recast it. Narrow-minded again for duration and umbral intensive for strength. If you're using Warcry on his 4, I will recommend using Eternal War Augment in this slot. I can energize for energy. I'm not using Xenetic Focus Cool, I'm using Oneiru for his armor strip. That's the reason I'm using Energize. I can strike because my main DPS in the run was Venka Prime. That's the reason I have this on. In case you have missed the build for Venka Prime, I'll leave that in the description or you'll be seeing here in the I button. So be sure to check it out. I'm lost again.
that is it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you found it useful. If you did, be sure to leave a like, share with your friends, comment if you have any questions, subscribe for more Warframe content. See you in the next one. Till then, take care. Bye bye.